I'm gonna sit down. I'm in a very hyper energetic mood today. I can't tell where the outlet is. There it is. Okay, so now I know to sit in front of the outlet. Anyway, I'm in such a freaking energetic mood because I this is the first time I've had matcha in I think two days. Point being, I had matcha today. It was very good. My hair is super curly because I still don't know whether or not I like it curly or straight for videos, but I'm gonna re-dye it again anyway. Yeah, I wrote down notes, but for some reason I just don't freaking feel like following any outlines that I made for myself. So we're just gonna get started. I was just listening to Hannah Montana, so that's why I'm like this. There's something more important that we need to talk about, and that is cyberbullying. I'm gonna try to ease myself into, okay, first of all, Troy just dropped a new song, and it's called Easy. It's not quite ease, it's easy, but it's still super good, and it's just, mm, that's it. That's why I'm in such a good mood. As you guys saw from the title of this video, this video is about cyberbullying. It's a collab with my friend Marissa Therese. If you guys have seen my mental health episode on anxiety, she was the main focus on that, so that is where she comes in. I have my mental health series and she does a lot of videos. I'll link her channel down below for sure. She has a lot of videos on mental health, so if anyone is in need of that or maybe wants some extra resources or maybe a different style or a way that they can also get some mental health into their lives. Marissa is a really good friend of mine and she has definitely helped make me more happy with her videos. You can tell because I'm smiling right now just thinking about her. So we are collabing on this video and we think it's a very important topic to talk about cyberbullying because especially right now during a pandemic, cyberbullying is something that can happen, probably does happen every day. I don't know the statistics by heart, but I'm sure that with the society that we live in now and especially during quarantine, cyberbullying is something that people experience a lot more often than they used to. And Marissa and I want to be there for you guys if and when you do experience these things because unfortunately bullying is something that does go on even though it shouldn't and it is illegal. I remember when I was back in middle school they made bullying illegal and a lot of people thought bullying was just a part of life and oh you're gonna always get picked on by other kids it's just what happens but a lot of times you think about it and you're like why does this kid get permission to make fun of me or if you're the parent i don't know why a parent would be watching my videos you're thinking why is it acceptable for someone else's kid to bully mine and have it just be a part of life? It shouldn't be. No one should be getting hurt just because, oh, that's just the way it is. People are gonna make fun of you. Sometimes it's hard to stand up for yourself and I would know. So today I'm gonna share with you guys an experience that I had when I was in fifth grade and I was bullied. So if you do wanna learn more about that, just keep on watching and yes, I need to turn my phone on Do Not Disturb right now because I just got another text. Let's get on into the rest of the video. As I said before in my video, I think it was last week, the video about how I try to stay happy. I kind of just want to speak heart to heart with you guys because I know you guys enjoyed that video for the fact that I was just speaking from my heart and I wasn't speaking from a script or anything. So I kind of want to do that again. Yeah, I kind of don't feel like being professional right now. So we're just gonna go with the flow and see what happens. Back when uvu was a thing and it was super popular, I would uvu my friends all the time and sometimes they weren't the nicest to me and they made little nicknames for me and there was a nickname one of them called me um, for a while and I had no idea why. She just kept saying it to me and it wasn't very nice and I hadn't really told anyone about it, um, mostly because I just was like, eh, I'll brush it off. But if you're ever in a situation where you feel like you're being repeatedly, someone is saying something repeatedly to you that isn't the nicest and maybe is hurting your feelings, you have the right to go up to an adult, a teacher, a family member, someone who you trust, and talk to them about how you feel and the way you're being treated and the fact that it's not right and whoever is treating you like this should maybe learn that it's not the right way to treat people. Um, so it was a really weird nickname that they did call me when I was younger and I'm laughing because it just didn't make any sense. Um, but I still remember the girl saying it um, over video chat and sometimes she would say it in school and it would just be like, why is she doing this? But I definitely couldn't really stand up for myself at that point. So the reason I tell you guys that is to make sure that one, you know that you're not alone, you're not the only one who has gone through this. If someone has called you a nickname repeatedly, um, there's a very big difference. I don't know if the right word is silver lining, but there's definitely a line between something that's a good nickname, like a shorter version of your name, and then there's a bad nickname that someone calls you if they're just trying to maybe be mean or tease you, which is never okay. Um, unless it's like a friendly thing, but this obviously was not friendly. This girl, I don't know why she had it in her to say something that wasn't the nicest to me. So even looking back on it, remembering how she made me feel, she didn't make me feel great, and 
it's not like I've talked to her since then. We both have different friend groups. I unfollowed her on Instagram because I just didn't need to be surrounded by whatever she was saying. Um, and I just didn't feel like she was the type of person for me to associate with. So it's also really good to be able to know who to associate with, who to be friends with, because it is true that you are pretty much a version of who you hang out with. So if you happen to hang out with people who do drugs a lot and who maybe go to parties and who don't get the best grades in school and just kind of fool around, you might have a little more of an inclination to do some of the same things that they're doing that may in turn make you less susceptible to getting a 4.0 if that's what you want. So that's just a tiny example, but it is true that the people you hang out with, you kind of start to act like, and I've discovered this so much when I'm with a group of people, and I was even thinking about this the other day. There was this girl in my cooking class way back when, when we took cooking in high school, and there were several attributes of her, even though it wasn't even like we were best friends, we were just friends who sat at the same table in a cooking class, but there were a couple attributes of hers that I was like, oh yeah, that's cool, I'm gonna start doing that, and they were just little quirks that she had, and it's not like she was even my best friend, but I took on after some things that she did, so that's just one thing that is kind of like, wow, people do have an impact on you, but in that same way, if you are hanging out with a crowd of people and they're not being the best for you, I know it's so super difficult in middle school because <sighs> the reason I like college so much better than any other type of school is that you get to choose what school you go to, you get to choose your friends, whereas the people who you meet in middle school and high school are people who are already in your neighborhood, they're people who have to go to that same school as you because it's the closest school to them. It's not like they're going to go to a school in Kentucky when they live in Florida. It just, you know, it doesn't make sense. Say you're from Kentucky and you really want to go to, I don't know, I don't know what a good school in Florida is, but you guys get my point. I know this video is mainly focused on cyberbullying, but I just wanted to share a part of real bullying that I dealt with because there were instances in school that I just said to you, and especially if you guys have watched the first episode of my anxiety series just talking about myself and um, how I dealt with being short, there was someone who... I feel like there was definitely a situation on the bus when I was growing up where I forget exactly who it was, but I kind of can picture who it was. I'm not sure if the person I'm thinking of is the person who said this, but I remember being on the bus when I was very young and this kid said, if you're shorter, when you stand up, if you're shorter than the bus seat, then you have to be the last one off the bus. I was thinking, okay, well that's fine because I'm like half an inch taller than the bus seat, so I'm fine. But this kid was directly trying to get me out and he was like, yeah, no, you're too short, you can't get up and leave the bus because you're shorter than the bus seat, which didn't make any sense because this kid was just a kid, he was in my grade, he didn't have any authority over it, and it kind of just put me in a funk, like, these kids are verbally saying things that aren't making me feel good, they know I'm short, I am only 5'1", but it's, I'm okay with it, I haven't ever really struggled with my height um, in many years, so I'm definitely good, it's not something that affects me on an everyday basis. I know that cyberbullying is something that affects a lot of different people, and what people say on the internet can hurt you, and I have seen YouTubers mean comments, and I always, it's always the big YouTubers whose videos I see the comments on, and they're mean things that other people say to them, um, and I always feel bad because these YouTubers work so hard to get their stuff out there, and to be an inspiration to other people, and to make a steady and healthy audience, and then there are other people who just go out of their way to say mean things, and I will never understand it. Also, why would you want to say something mean to someone in hopes that they would see it. What does that give you? I, I just will never understand it. The main thing that I do want you guys to take away from this is that the people who believe they probably are lacking something in themselves that they're trying to find and they are not yet confident in themselves so they're looking toward other people who do have that ability that they lack and they're making fun of them like wow I don't have this I'm not already yet fulfilled in that part of my life but you have this and I feel bad that I don't have this so I'm gonna go make fun of you and I don't know why it gives people a right to do that but they just do that's just their thing that's the main point that I see for why people bully but it still just doesn't make sense to me just don't do it um, but the thing is that if you are someone who is getting bullied online just remember that that person is not yet 100% confident in themselves and they are looking to bully you because you have something that they don't and they're probably jealous of you. So that is what I've learned as to why people bully. Does it make it right? Of course not. But it's definitely not against you. It's more so like a compliment. Like, hey, I have something that this person wants and 
they're looking to maybe sabotage what I have, which is definitely not the best way or the correct way to go about it. But that is the reason, if that gives you any sort of hope as to why people bully you. Another thing that I did want to mention is that the movie Cyberbully with Emily Osment, she was the, she was Lily and Hannah Montana. That movie was so good. It was so real. I cried several times. I watched that movie several times growing up. It's truly a reflection of how people can be online and how nasty people can be. So I forget how I watched it. I feel like I maybe bought it on Amazon Prime or something, or maybe I watched it on YouTube back when I, back when people watched videos on YouTube before Netflix was a thing. It really symbolized, wow, people can be mean on the internet and this is how you know you're not alone when there's a movie made to portray how your feelings are caught. One other thing I do want to delve into is nasty comments on people's pictures, especially girls when they're just being themselves and they're just trying to show off parts of their bodies that they're proud of. There's no need to comment something like, I saw Adeline Warren post a picture the other day and it was something like, she had a little bit of skin showing and by a little I mean a lot and and there was a parent who commented on her post saying this is not what my teenage daughter signed up for or something like that and it's just like why would you be mean when someone is trying to express themselves in a polite way I just don't see why people have the audacity to go ahead and interrupt the lives of those who are just trying to be comfortable within their own skin so that's just another thing I wanted to mention is that if you have hateful comments in your head you don't need to say them out loud. If you guys have been bullied in the past, or if maybe it's something you're dealing with now, I hope that this video gave you maybe some insight into what it feels like for someone else to be bullied, or some tips on how to handle it correctly, because it is a tough situation that no one should, no one should really have the need to be equipped with it, but in this day and age, we are, because that's just how life is. Nothing is perfect, but we can at least try to stop bullying. So that is something that I feel like I can if there is something that I can do, I can try to help with that. If you guys haven't seen it, definitely watch the movie Cyberbully because so many amazing things. It was like my favorite movie when I was younger and it's not because I was so like wrapped up in being bullied, but it was, it was just the fact that it was made so well and you could really feel all the feelings that were being portrayed. So definitely go give that a watch if you haven't already. And also feel free to DM me. My DMs are always open to anyone who is struggling with bullying. I just shared mine with you. If you guys want to share yours with me, that would be awesome. If you guys wanted some insight onto how to deal with things that maybe are a little complicated and something that you definitely shouldn't be going through. With that being said, I will see you guys super soon for a new video. I know I'm working on my mental health series. I just had to take some time off recently, but make sure to subscribe and click the bell like give a thumbs up i always forget to talk about the bell but make sure to click the bell for notifications and if you're watching this comment down below your favorite song or just an album that you've been loving because i need some new recommendations bye guys i'm really so freaking hungry and just wow i need food and i'm not in the mood to film a serious video okay goodbye <laughs>